Don't Welcome to Aussie Golf Review. If you haven't uh, watched our channel before, yeah. smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. What do you do with that bell? And you can do something else so you'll receive all our current videos. Is that that bell? Oh, the bell thing. That's, that's right. down there after you subscribe. Uh, just, I should watch more stuff. Right, so we've just zapped the distance. It's 173 metres back into the wind. Yep. Um, the, the wind's probably making it one, low 180s. Yeah. yeah. High 170s, low 180s. So, it, really, it's a four iron. Yep. So, but even that, I think a well struck one's probably going to be just short. I think so too, but I'm going to go straight at that clump of trees. I just think you, you give yourself some time on the way back and then hit it. Yep. So I'm going to go, I want to go left of the flag. Yeah, yeah. Because yep. I think that anywhere up around there is pretty good. Just decently struck, mate. That's sort of what it's about. Yeah. Get some decently struck. Give yourself some time. Boom. Nearly around the front of the green. Now this is the thing with four iron. Maybe your next set just has to be five iron down. Sorry? Maybe your next set just has to be five iron down. Um, and probably will be. Probably will be. Mm. I hit one decent four iron every, who knows, yeah. often. So probably. Um, and then much... maybe a four hybrid. We'll just sort of see. I would think, yeah, there'll be Or at probably... least a big chunky headed four, like a crossover, pin crossover or something. In a, in, in a four. Yes, yes. So what I think what I look at doing is five iron down, and then I'll have the hybrid, and we'll just look at yeah. whatever slots in between yeah. that. Yeah, whether well, it's yep. a hybrid. And I think that's what people need to do. Don't they? they just need to find those distances. The problem with if I hit the four iron not very well, it goes the same distance as a well hit five iron. Of course. So yeah, yeah. To me, you're nearly wasting a club. I think bag. you are. Yeah. Yep. So that's probably what we look at doing. You know, like I said, whacking another small hybrid there. I've like got a one length hybrid. Ooh. It's in the those pretty good. Yeah, true. No, that's that's the way to go. It's very true. Actually. Beautiful. It's so much more refined on, oh, on a... And that's um, what you pay for. 100% you do. Mate, you don't buy a Ferrari for it to look like the inside of a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> don't bag a Falcon, mate. <laughs> Don't bag the Falcon. No, nothing wrong with the Falcon. So miss hit four on, you see? Yeah, Pretty miss badly miss hit four on. Yeah. Even yeah. still, I reckon you're probably just over the mound, short of the green, if you would hit a good one. Yeah, yeah, I reckon still probably a little bit short anyhow, but uh, like you said, make up a set is, is, and do you want, as you get a bit older and you don't quite have that, that firepower through the ball, Yeah. there's a lot more options now, isn't there? And like I said, gone are the days of where you just bought a whole set. Yeah, whole blade four iron set, a well, whole blade set. even any <clears> set. <throat> like if you go in now, you can order five iron to pitching wedge, you can five iron to nine iron, whatever the hell you want. Yeah, whatever so. you want. Toughest shot, bit of bit of uh, distance there, it's like 40 metres. Here we go, Rich. Too bad. Oh, too bad. You're not making double from there, but come on, make a putt. No, come on. Well, I didn't check what the index was on this hole, though, Richard. It'd have to be up there. You'd think so. This would have to be top five, I reckon. Pretty tough. What's this deal, mate? It's going in. Perfect. Oh no. Oh. I thought that was. The same. I just, it was pretty much spot on. Who's that? Thanks, mate. <laughs> it was a bogey, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Beautiful. Do you, what do you want to finish the last turn? Do you want to finish it in square? Like, do you want to have equal or do you want to have one over? Because now one over. Yeah. Ah, oh, The lower the better. We'll get a couple of bars. Let's go.
Right, here we are on the 17th hole. Index 16, so yep. it's <laughs> it's uh, 157 meters. Basically, wind's doing nothing. Like, probably helping if no, anything. Nothing at the Pretty much helping if anything. A couple of tough holes to finish, mate. Yeah, definitely pretty long. Two long par threes. Yeah, and then the long par five. Yeah. So, I think seven's probably not quite enough for you. Your six? Very, oh, it's straight, so straight. Yeah, it's just a, just the front. I think it's just short. Just short. Well, that wasn't too bad. Hit that. Solid. Solid. Yep. Wasn't a huge amount of speed, was there? See how straight you hit it, though? I know. Hmm. Don't need to swing hard. Hmm. Swing slow, hit hard. Richo. Pulled up just short of the bunker, which yeah, is great. Yeah, so, we've got a little 54, I'm just going to land it. I don't even know what it's doing down there. Doing bugger all. Really? I just straight at it, mate, straight at it. I think the tree will right. See, maybe this is why he's such a good little wedge player, because he, uh... He does walk up there. He's almost like a pro when it comes to that sort of stuff. Oh, mate. Oh, go in. Oh, mate. Go in. Oh, just short. Just short. Say that? Um, from here, how, how close is it? Close. From here, it looks like it's two foot. Done. Can't believe you didn't chip it in. I thought you were going to get back to square. That would have been nice, actually. Chip in. <laughs> I like. I Richo. I didn't call, mate. Yep. This, is, this is the this is the end, my friend. So totally different look to the uh, ninth hole. Same distance, though. So, um, yeah, it certainly certainly a lot different look from over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's dog leg right. Yep. Um, up the hill, out of bounds the right, sort of brings out of bounds in yeah. play a little bit more. I haven't got enough to go over there, I'm going to go over here. You're just going to play a cut like, yeah, I don't have the drone footage of over here, but you can sort of understand what we're talking about, especially when you see that. That's where the tree is there. Miss it. Oh, that's pure. It's going to be an interesting one. Come on, mate. You can get there in two, can't you? Easy. <laughs> 300 in. Uh, yep, two drivers. One driver. How good is that sun in the background? Look at it. Look at it. Mate, the whole course. Look at this back. Don't try to take a photo there. over that way. Hey? You stand there, the out of bounds peg, just going, don't go here. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> no, I don't know. Hey? But it's, it, it certainly uh, changes the, the hole, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it pushes you out to the left a little bit more. Yep. And if you want to go over the trees, I mean, there's probably another 20 metres that you're closer. So you got 269 in. So you probably could have been 250 in or something Ooh, like that. I could have. Still not gone for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's where you are there. All right, mate, come on. Birdie gets you back to square for the three holes. I mean, a par will be fine, but yeah. Is that left? No, that's dead. Sorry, <laughs> dead straight. See? Boom. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Dead straight. dead straight. Sorry about that. Beep. Beep. He loves it. He loves it. 80 metres, mate. Yep. 54. Come on, buddy. Fire up. I'm ready. Come on. Boom. Get the mortars out. So, in the layup there, look, there's some water behind you there. Yeah, I'm a little bit closer than I was last time. Yeah, I know. Um, Last time, a bit further down yeah, but again, you have a look at that, like that water could catch a few people out, I would imagine. I have no doubt if you pull that ball a little bit there. It's a tough one, you're OB all down the right and then you've got water on your layout. I reckon so. If you want to be around, you're 100 in. Good spot. 
80 meters, mate. This is all you. Perfect club. Edge of green, maybe, but over the back, yeah, maybe. The green, yeah. It's all right. Let's chip in. <laughs> right, mate. Right. Not, not too bad, mate. It was just. Yeah, I need to go more left of the flag. Hmm. Yeah, no, no. I, I know what you're saying, but it's, <clears throat> it's just sort of one of those things. Like yeah. your wedges are probably a little bit down breeze. Probably reasonably down. <laughs> Most of the course it would have caught some green. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you would hit the edge. Yep. All right, mate. So, what's it doing? Wait, but it's definitely going to go that way. Yep. I reckon it's yeah, it's the last two it. feet is pretty pretty strong left. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I know you thought that was in for half a bit. Half a minute. Pick it in, pick it up, mate. What um so what ball are you using? Mate. Give it a clean. Give it a clean. So So what you finish one round, over. You finish one over. Yeah, one over for those. Yeah, for the last three. So new Mizuno, it's a bit dirty, obviously. Right. But uh new RB tour X I used today. Mm. Right, so I do have uh the RB tour mm. in my bag as well. I really enjoyed this. Look, putting, chipping with it, and surprisingly, I thought it was pretty good off the tee. I had some great tee shots. Yeah, yeah, but um, like the numbers we done with it, you especially for with, with, with your yeah. wedges, it was the best one for you um, from a spin point of view. Yeah, but having bought it now out onto a course, right, and used it on a course, very impressed with it. I, I think it's a great ball. It's certainly a ball that mm. I could certainly use easily. I thought it was good all round. Good off the tee. Good with the irons. Good with a the little bit more of a try. Let's try it elsewhere. Yeah. Yep. But I um, I liked it. It certainly, yeah, it might suit everyone. Stay, Maybe and stay pretty white too. The, Almost shiny. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's a bit dirty. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I've just had a couple of chips with it. But uh, do you know what? Great ball. Uh, maybe if you've got a game like mine, might be suited for you. Maybe. But but maybe maybe the, the the people that don't quite have the swing, swing speed of some other people. But I still want to use a premium golf ball. Maybe this is worthwhile having a look at. Because yeah. I thought I got good distance off the tee. Yeah, especially the spin um, with your wedges that when we done the testing was yeah, crazy. Yep, I thought it was fantastic. You saw today, I had some great chips around. Held a couple of good putts, hit some good irons with it. Um, but like I said, some other premium balls I found, maybe I don't hmm. have quite the swing speed for them. But maybe if you don't have the swing speed. Good too. Maybe it's worthwhile. So... Canungra. Canungra. Down here, look at this. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful spot. Um, we'd like to thank Matt, mm -hmm. right, who uh, contacted us and asked us to come down here. So I'd like to thank Matt and uh, Kim, Kim, who's down here for the day. Uh, her husband, Sam. Sam, right, who's filled us in on some bits and pieces yeah. around the place. But this is such a great spot. In this whole feeling of, like, it seems like you're in a bowl. It's, it's openness. Like, but it's, then, like you said, the hills are around, they're not yeah, on top of you. Yeah, and, and there's some reasonable holes. And don't get off put by the smaller greens. Mm. And, and that, that that's just part of the character of the golf course. I think this golf course is superb. It's in great nick. Yeah, it's there's got plenty, plenty of coverage in the greens. Plenty of grass. But we didn't go anywhere. Look, look, they have put some irrigation in, so you can see where they've put it in. That is it. Like, there's no spots where you're walking up and going, oh, look at those. There's really no bear patches, No is bear it? patches. Um, there's some toughness in the course, right? Without it being silly. Um, not a lot of bunkers around. They don't really need them. Um, there's a few spots where the ball sort of bounces away from the holes, and that's the toughness that they have. The par four that you really liked, mm. that's a tough hole. It is a tough hole. Yep, that is a really tough hole. You get a good drive there, you're in a good spot. You get anything that's not quite good. Um, the par three, I really liked. I just like the look of it. Um, yeah, you know, the par five, see you? Yeah, par five. That one coming home is is. Look, I've had a pretty reasonable drive. Yep. 
and, and, and a good three wood, mm -hmm. and still what? 80 metres. 80 metres. Mate, it's... Like I said, if you hit a horrible one off the tee there, you could be in all sorts of trouble. Yep. But that is certainly a good long finishing hole. Um, the first hole? Yeah. Pretty tough. Yes, it is. Yep. There's a par four down the hill, bloody hell. Well, I think par five the first time, par yep. four the second time. Mm -hmm. Mate, this, this is a really good course. It's I, solid. I'm very, very impressed. I, Expect, I expected less and certainly got more. Um, a little bit like that. Do you know, it's got everything it needs. Look, there's a couple of sheds here to keep all their yeah, gear in. Gear there. You know, there's, there's a smallish clubhouse there. Um, they mainly mainly open on a Tuesday. So they are open every day, yeah. right? So you can come here and play. But they open on a Tuesday. Thursday's a big day. They have the men's midweek comp. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, obviously. And Saturdays they have a comp. But basically any day you can get hit here. Uh, if you come down on a Monday, you can't hire a buggy, but there is an honesty box, right? Um, 20, 25 bucks for 18 holes. It's unlimited. Unlimited. So if you come down Joe, on a Monday or a Wednesday, if there's no one here, there's a receipt well, 20, I there. Think, I think that's any any time. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah. it's 25 for unlimited Unlimited holes. golf, yeah. uh, 15 bucks for nine holes, if you yeah. wish to come play nine holes. Um, the two tee blocks give you a different look at the course. Mm. Look, this is a great course. You know, even on a day when there's no one here, like, there's very limited food, do you know what? <laughs> Make yourself up a picnic lunch. Yeah. Come down, play it in holes, stop. There's some beautiful spots under some trees here. Have something to eat, come play another 18. But it's, it's a great spot, good value. What, 400 bucks a year as a member? Yeah. You can join here as a member just for a handicap. Um, it's what, 150? 150. But, you know, 400 bucks as a member is uh, pretty good. And like I said, those competitions. So, so the ladies were only playing nine hole comps on a Tuesday. They just started to recently play 18 hole comps. We saw a lot of ladies out here today. Um, they were laughing, waving, having a great time. Um, saw some pretty good shots too. Mm. So, hey, that's what it's about. Of it is. Getting out playing and having fun and they look like they're really enjoying themselves and I don't blame them. Mm. Look at this place. Look at this. Like the sun beautiful. over here, it's just starting to go down. Oh, yep. it's not going down, but it's about to, yep. probably about 20 minutes, half an hour from the hill. Yep. So Kim was saying her and her husband come out here, Sam, wasn't it? Yep. Sam. So her and Sam come out here in the afternoon. Look, got a whole course themselves, play nine holes, one dark. Oh. Bloody lovely. Hey, they got the best life. Yep. Old, old Sam. Old oh, Sam. Old oh, Sam's got the best life, hasn't he? Of course he does. Oh, yeah, his missus, bloody yeah, hell. Yeah, his missus works at a golf course and... Loves golf. Hey. Eh? But, but. Fantastic. All these courses down around this part of the world, um, they are looking at doing some packages, some stay and play packages and bits and pieces. But, you know, around Mount Tambourine, there's plenty of places to stay. You know, my suggestion would be come down for a weekend, play Mount Tambourine one day, stay the night go out to one of the heaps of places to eat, come play here on Sunday. Yeah. I mean, this, this is a great course. Mm -hmm. I really, I really It's had, a solid golf course. I had, I really enjoyed it. Like, you know, I, look, I really enjoyed Spring Valley when we played. Yeah, I know, but this is the whole point. Like, this every golf course than, has its this place. This is different than Spring Valley. Totally. You know, and it was funny when we were here this morning and, and, um, I think it was mortars or something were going off over the Yeah, valley, the bangs were going off. It's just different. It's different. I know people sort of, I don't know, just, just different. Oh, character. I, I, it's character. I think it's character. Of course yeah. it is. Yep. I mean, you know, Spring Valley, the worst thing I ever did was get rid of the dumb. I mean, they probably added character <laughs> to it. But all great courses for all different reasons. And you just take it as they are. You know, if you play well, You'll shoot all right. Um, I think it's great. But definitely get down this way. Do you reckon? Couldn't agree more. Beautiful. All right. Cool. So keep an eye out for the next adventure. The next adventure. The next With journey Richo. in golf. Well, I think after this one, we've got a mate from the UK coming out, mate. We do. Yep. So keep an eye on that. Ooh. Um I know we've got a, a few more courses to, to come around. And do you know, it, it's the same thing. Like... We also, in, I know people will say that 
we go to some of the similar courses again and stuff. But you got to remember that sometimes it's a long time between courses. Yeah. When we go back to it, like we haven't been to Crowden for a long time. Yeah. And it's always interesting to go back to courses to see how they're going and what they're doing. And not not just from what they've done to the course themselves, but we like to see how the whole club's moving mm. forward, don't we? Like when we come back and they go, do you know what, we've grown. We had 100 members, we've got 200 members, we've got this going on and that going on and we've bought new equipment because we've had more money coming yeah. in, which means we can keep the greens in better nick. That's what we like to hear. We, we don't always necessarily put that across on film, yeah. but for us, that's what we that's like to see. That's the big thing, is just see growth. Like you said, growth, isn't it? You know, you go to some place, they go, nah, nah, have no juniors next time you go there. They go, yeah, 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 we got 50 yeah. of them. Yeah. Right? Because someone's come in and gone, any chance I want to start a junior golf program? They go, if you want, <laughs> go for it. Yep. So that's what we like to see. So anyway, get out there, have some fun. Play golf 2019. Good. Rip in. Rip in and enjoy yourself. So, nice salute to a 56. Beautiful. And don't forget, smash that like button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that's a weirdo. You say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know. If you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit the dislike. Who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you. <laughs>